it's just so hard nowadays because of course i want to support small businesses like fuck capitalism it sucks and i hate to say it but amazon gets all my money i'm dead dude <laughs> Hi everyone, so so sorry I'm late. Wow, a whole three minutes late. I was starting to think you were dead. All right, hi everyone. I'm glad you could all be here today. Oh, hi and see you. Is this your first time? Oh, I'm she, Sarah. <laughs> well, would you mind introducing yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Zara. She, her, hers. I'm a freshman history major from Kansas. Um, do you want a fun fact? If you so desire. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you. Okay, let's go over the minutes from last week's meeting. We talked about petitioning for the school to not give us Columbus Day off. Instead, teach black history in all classes or have different BSU activities or have a protest or show an informative black movie. Suri also hosted an international food potluck on Saturday. Suri, how'd it go? It went so well. Thank you guys for coming, except you, Ghana. I made Raya try chicken foot soup and she loved it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, they were fire. Granted, they do look like baby hands, <laughs> but once you get over that part, they're cool. Too bad I wasn't able to come. So the next thing we need to talk about comes from our anonymous questions, Google Drive. The question is, are white people allowed to join? our black student union okay um no i mean thank you to whoever asked this question but the answer is no right i mean we created this group to get away from the white people on campus right that's not why i joined okay maybe not to get away from them but to get closer to the black people so wouldn't allowing them in negate that. But we're all already pretty close, except Zara because she just joined, but we all live in the same dorm hall, go to the same parties, eat at the same restaurants on campus. So why not? Because it's not their space, okay? They get every other space. Do I feel like I was being harsh? What, like an angry black woman? Is that what you're asking me? Look, I just know what it feels like to not be welcome in a space because you're black. That doesn't happen for white people, at least not as often as it happens for us. I felt it in supermarkets, on college campuses, at friends' houses, at my own house. It just doesn't feel fair that the one time they feel left out, that we have to accommodate. That just sounds like you're pro-segregation or something. Ghana is such an extremist. Like, okay, the white parts of your family disowned you, but that's not all white people though. I believe that there is beauty in mixing color and sound and making something beautiful from things that are different. Maybe white people would invite you into spaces if you invited them first. Ever thought of that? No, because she only thinks about herself. Raya, am I wrong? Okay, I hear what you're both saying. Ghana, Yes, black people have been excluded from a lot of spaces. And because of that, we've created a lot of our own. But I also hear Suri's point. I didn't join BSU to have another all black space. Not that it's not nice, but I joined to make change. And I think maybe having some white people will help with that. What do you think, Zara? Um, yeah, I totally agree with you, Raya. So you think we need the Skylers and Dylans who wish Obama had a third term and that Drake is so lit to make this club work? Because what, we are not equipped enough on our own? Is that really what you hear me saying right now? Are you kidding? I don't know, how else am I supposed to take we need white people? Martin Luther King accepted white people. Obama had a white VP. I have a white mother. What is BLM and civil rights if not equality? And I think equality means no one is better than the other. 
We fought for desegregation. We fought for interracial marriage. Hell, if it wasn't for it, she nor I would be here. But, you know, I could just be naive. I only have my worldview to look through. I don't know what God has gone through or experienced. So who am I to tell her she's wrong? She looks through her lens like Suri looks through hers and Zara looks through hers. So none of us are wrong. We're just limited. See, it's black people like you why white people hate African-Americans. That was the moment I wish I could have disappeared. God. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but I just don't get it. The same Columbus who discovered America discovered Jamaica. The same slavery happened in the two country. And somehow in Jamaica, when white people come, they have fun and all is good. But here, everybody still hates each other. Like, move on. Be the bigger person. Invite them in. Make them some food, dance, chat, and you'll realize that you have so much in common. But no, they decide that white people can't use anything that's theirs, which is crazy to me. Cause it's not like white people don't like black culture. They fucking love it. So if they just took advantage of that, things would be way better. Um, my dad, my dad is white. He accidentally impregnated my mom when they were in college. He's not a part of my life. His family pretends I don't exist. They're ashamed of me. And I'm their blood. So, no. I'm not the reason why people hate us. White people hate us because being black and educated, being black and rich, being black and holding public office isn't something they signed up for. It's not the American dream they were sold. Excuse me? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Okay, I think we all need a sec. No, you see, she doesn't get it because white people love her. What? Oh yeah, it's easy to judge black Americans when you're a foreigner because you don't know what it's like to be us. To not have the cool accent and the country and this whole exotic thing you got going on here. Cause not only are you mixed, but you're Jamaican and white people will eat that shit up. So don't come at me because I see them for how they truly are and they don't treat me like some mixed dog breed. Kana, please. And even you, Raya, the hippie dippy mixed girl who just wants peace, they treat you special too. They all want your golden tan and cool style and just enough activism to keep them in check, but not enough to wear them uncomfortable. Why are you fighting us? Of all people. Now, I know I don't know your life like that, but I can tell that you've been You're right. Hurt. You don't know my life like that. So why don't you just do us all a favor? It was me. I asked the question. As weird as it sounds, I don't really have a lot of black friends. Both my parents are white. I'm adopted. And most of the people in my hometown are white. So I'm just more comfortable around white people. And I wasn't trying to start anything, really. I just wanted to know if my roommate Jess could come. That's all.